So again, this area, we've already scissored really tight to the toe, so it's kind of right up to her toenails in the back here. I like to use a curved shear when I'm doing this because a lot of people will tend to go right in and just cut it like this. And I feel like that's how we cut off a lot of length that we necessarily don't want to cut off. So I like to go side to side to set in my shape and then I'll just come in right at the front to nip off these fuzzy ends. I try not to pick up the leg too much. I mean, you can pick it up this way if you want to get in some of those fuzzies, but try not to take off too much length, just the fuzz if you do it that way, because that is where you tend to lose a lot of that length. But just aim from the tuck up to the toe. Make sure your shear echoes this line from here to here. Make sure you're not going like this or getting too aggressive. Just take a little bit at a time and stand back and look at it. And then you can always take a little bit more if you need to. But you never wanna just get aggressive and start cutting a bunch of hair offs. And if you have a dog that's maybe a little bit straighter in the rear, which sometimes is the problem, um, you can create a little bit of that knee by just leaving just a little bit more hair right through here. And that'll kind of help disguise the fact that the dog's a little bit straighter.